All right then, gang. So very quickly, once more, we're creating our store and we're passing in our reducer right here. So we're coupling the two up. Then inside that reducer, we take the state as a parameter, which is initially this state to begin with the first time it runs. Then we take the action right here that we dispatch to the reducer and we're dispatching it right there. That action is this thing right here of type add to do and the to do is by milk. So we're now logging that to the console when we run this file. Now, really what we want to do in here is not log that to the console, but interact with the state, change the state. And that change is going to be dependent on the action that we receive. Right now, we're dispatching this action right here, which is of type add to do, which means we want to add a to do to this array. But at some other point, it could be a different action. It could be delete to do or add post or delete post or something else. So we're not obviously going to perform the same kind of manipulation to the data for every single action. We need to check what type of action we receive, first of all, and then manipulate the state dependent on what type of action it is that we get. Make sense? Cool. So let's do a little if check, first of all, to see what kind of action that we get. So we'll say if the action dot type is going to be equal to add to do, which it is in this case, remember, right? then we're going to do something. And the thing that we want to do is update the state. Now we get access to that state right here. So how do we actually update that? Well, all we need to do is return a new object. And this object is going to represent the new state of the store. So whatever we return here, that is going to be the new state. Okay, then. So what do we want to do? We want to update the to do's. So we can say to do's. And then we want to set that equal to a new array. Remember, we don't want to edit this directly. We don't want to say state dot to do's dot push and then whatever the new to do is because this is going to directly edit the state. We don't want to do that. We want to be non destructive here, much like we have been in React throughout this course. So instead, we create a new array right here. Then we can say, OK, well, drop in the state dot to do's to begin with. And we're going to spread those so we get individual elements out of the state. Then we want to add the new element, which is going to be the action dot to do. Remember, that's this thing down here. So we're adding that new to do thing to the to do's property. All right. So, I mean, if we save this now and try to run it, then nothing much is going to happen. Unfortunately, we're not logging anything to the console, so we can't see what's going on. But in the next video, what I'm going to do is show you how we can subscribe to changes to the store and then react to them. So that's coming up in the very next tutorial.